This is nice. Dungeon dives. Haka! Oh, there he is! Yeah, this is way better. Wow. It's not smoky in here at all. Yeah. Okay. It's a good place. Guest starring the Xandor tribe. Created by Platinum Wild. This is great. Hi there. Hi. It's been a while. Welcome to Dungeon Dives, where okay. we'll be going over everything you need to know for your first time in Zul'Gurub. Uh, actually, Zul'Gurub is a raid, so I, I don't really know how much we should trust this video, but let's just move on. Description of this video, there will be timestamps to specific parts in the video you might be looking for. But before yeah. we talk about the raid, let's talk about the rep. Mm -hmm. With ZG release, there is a new rep grind for the Zandalari tribe, who look, uh... A lot worse for wear compared to their BFA counterparts. Yeah, then to I was gain good. rep with the Zandalar, you need to kill bosses, get loot the coins, bijus. and bijus yep. inside the instance and turn them into the Zandalar mm -hmm. on the island. Coins and bijus are not soul bound, so they can be bought and sold on the auction house as well. Notable rep rewards from the Zandalar tribe is yeah. this recipe for the Bloodvine set for warlocks, okay. enchants, potions, and yep. essence. Mangoes. You, you should be able to get tokens and you should be able to get uh, friendly or whatever you need to turn in the item for the enchant on the first uh, the first uh, run you do. Uh, that's what we got whenever we did it. And trinket items that can be turned in at the island for yep. tier gear and trinkets. Yep. Now with that's all that out of the way, we can delve into the ancient troll city of Zul Garub. Okay. Yeah, this is getting scary. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this. Like, look at these cutting. Look at this cutting. Is a this is hard. It's typically considered to be the catch up raid, oh, where you can get mind. some good gear that will get you raid ready for places like Blackwing Lair onward. Now, on <laughs> private servers, this place was a lot more difficult. In classic, it's a cakewalk if you have a competent group of players. This place is easy if you aren't stupid. All right, Despite well, it's gonna be hard. Despite being a catch-up raid, geared players will still want enchants. to run this place for enchants, yep. notable pieces of gear, Fuck that. and some mounts. In order to kill the last boss, you're gonna need to kill all of the, the high mounts, priests dude. in the instance, but there are I an additional wait. four optional bosses here yep. to kill as well. All of the high priests can drop this loot. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, pause the video if you're interested in that. Okay, First let me, oh, wait, let me look at it. Let me look if there's anything good for it. Okay, sorry, I, you guys had to listen to that twice. Okay, so, uh, cloak sucks, helmet, I don't give a fuck about it. Helmet here, chance at 2%, who cares? And, uh, let's see, gloves with 1% crit chance, that's actually pretty good. And, uh, let's see, sacrificial raiment, strength with the gloves. Sacrificial gloves. Oh, those are actually pretty fucking good. I might go with that instead. All right, so the gloves are pretty good. Besides that, everything else is pretty much bullshit. At least to me. Uh, Gurubashi Berserker also kind of sucks. It's 20 attack power. I've got better rings than that already. So, uh, uh, yeah, pause the video if you're interested. In yeah. That. For starters, we'll make our way to the High Priest Jekyllik. J -j -jek we're gonna go to the, the bat, bat boss. On our way there, there are these bat packs, and the riders yep. explode, so melee need to stay far, far away. No, Wait. they don't. That's not true. Uh, you just kill them before they explode. Uh, they trigger the explosion at, like, 30% or something like that, or, like, 30, like, 25 to 50%. You just kill them before they explode. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to move away. Clear the room, and you can face the first boss. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> Huh? Keep the That's boss where coronavirus came from. And have your range stay far away to avoid the silence ability mm -hmm. that does damage. Yep. Make sure no DPS stand in front of the boss to avoid her swoop ability that deals damage to the area in front of her. So don't attack. Waves of bats will spawn all throughout the fight. Yep. And you have to AoE him down. Lastly, That's she will charge anyone relatively close to her and do an AoE damage slash silence. Keep a ranged DPS, preferably a hunter, a shorter distance from her than okay. the rest of the main party of ranged classes. Oh, and then she charges to, soak to them. This ability. I In see. her troll form, she'll have a bunch of priest abilities. Shadow interrupt the heal. Pain will need to be dispelled, a heal that needs yep. to be interrupted, That's a, a big chain fucking heal. that needs to be interrupted, and an AoE fear. Bats yep. will also drop fire during this phase. 
Just get out of the fire. Uh, don't stand in it. That's true. She's pretty easy, and this is the loot that you'll get. Okay, just to pause. All right, so Sea Fury Boots, dog shit, Jelix Crasher, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. Okay, we don't want anything from this boss. On our way to the next boss, while traveling, you'll run into the axe throwers that do some AoE damage when they spin. If this damage is too much for your party, they can be interrupted by having- If this damage is too much for your party, get a new party. A polymorph be casted on them. Clear out all of the snakes in the next room, and then you can face the next boss. Yep. I'm a snake. I'm a slither. Look at my tongue. Uh, on pull, keep the boss away from the, the rest of your raid man. because he'll do a Holy Nova, which is an okay. AoE spell. He also has a Chain Lightning type of spell on anyone within 10 yards. So have your yeah. melee stay far, far away because this can instantly kill a big chunk of your raid if okay. you aren't careful. At 50%, he'll turn into a slithery little snake that uh -oh. farts green clouds. So All right. the tank needs to continually kite the boss around the room to avoid standing in said fart cloud. That he makes drops sense. this loot. Okay, pausing. Let's look at it. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so chest piece sucks. Uh, dagger sucks. Uh, rings for casters. Who cares? Axe sucks. Uh, the cloak is kind of good. Yeah, cloak is actually pretty good. Uh, blood drench foot pads. Those are actually pretty good too. So the boots and the cloak could be good. This loot. Now we can go just to the next boss. Yeah. Just follow this route to make your way there. Okay. Clear out this everything the in the boss. spider room, and then yep. we can face High Priest Marley. Oh, shit! A spy! The spy! Where to my Tim? The spy! Where to my Tim's? In her troll form, this boss doesn't. What the fuck is a Tim's? Like, really, I don't know. What, what the fuck is a Tim's? Timberlands? His boots? Where to my Tim's at the sp- Fire! Where to my Tim's? In her troll form, this boss does an AoE poison that needs to be okay. cleansed. Shamans with their poison cleansing totem are yeah. phenomenal here, by the way. She'll also that have makes a sense, because it cleanses be poison. Interrupted, and spider Actually, ads makes a lot of sense. killed. The longer these spider ads are alive, the mm -hmm. stronger they get. So these are your top priority as makes a DPS. Sense. When she turns into a spider, she'll root all of the melee and have all of her aggro wiped, causing okay. her to charge into the range. Have an off tank be able to oh, grab her okay. and bring her back. So they into just stand the out melee. in in all right. Another that option sense. for the alliance is paladins can cast blessing of freedom on the tank so they can grab the boss and bring them back into melee. Do okay. all that and she should be dead. She drops whoa, 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 this loot. Whoa. Uh dog shit, dog shit. Kind of not dog shit, but pretty much dog shit. Uh, dog shit, dog shit. Okay, we'll just ignore this boss. On our way to the next target, you have to face these Gurabashi blood drinkers. Don't these stand guys next are to annoying them. because yeah. they suck the life from all players around them, which heals them for a lot. Not <laughs> they also drain life from friendly targets near them, which also heals them. So just mm -hmm. tank these adds far, far away from everybody else and just Makes have sense. ranged GPS kill them. There are also these guards, and they do a nasty knockback, so don't get thrown into additional packs. Yep. The next boss is our first optional boss, and now, probably my favorite This is boss, an extremely important Blood Lord boss. Mandokir. There this he is. This boss comes with a raptor ad that has a sunder effect. Just tell us the mount. Tell, talk about the mount. From what we've seen on the PTR, you can just focus down the boss and ignore the raptor until the boss is dead. But if for some reason this doesn't work because your healers <laughs> yeah. suck, you can focus down the ad, but it's, doing it's so pretty easy, will man. make the boss deal increased damage for one minute. Okay. The most important yeah. ability Blood Lord Mandokir has is Threatening Gaze. Okay. He will pick a random member of the raid and announce that he is watching them. WHAT THE FUCK ARE YOU LOOKING AT?! If this character moves, casts a spell, or really does anything, he will kill them instantly. Wait, really?! I'LL END YOU! <laughs> Blood Lord will- that's the first time I learned how that mechanic worked. That's crazy. Because the way that you used to do the boss is there's the, the stairs that lead up to the top. 
And then we had all the casters stand on one of the steps of the stairs, and every single time that they got threatening gaze, it would just bug out the boss, and he wouldn't do anything to them, and they could just attack at full damage the entire time. So I actually never learned what the mechanic did, because I cheesed it ever since Vanilla WoW. So, hey. Also charge it a works. random DPS that is far away from the group. So once again, have a hunter or some other ranged DPS be far, He's not far even talking away about from the, exploit. the group to bait this ability. This yeah. charge also wipes aggro, so have an off tank. Be prepared to pick up I a love aggro wipes. Need. They make the, the game more fun. The boss also has a cleave, whirlwind, and a fear. So you okay. can see how this fight gets a little crazy, but no. if you die, you will be rezzed by one of the ghosts that are around the room. But each time someone dies, the boss gains XP. What? The more people that die, the more he will level up and deal increased damage and take reduced damage. Really? But stay calm, work with your team, and he should be dead, and this is the loot that he drops. Okay, let's see here. Um, so we've got... And he should be dead. Zanzel Seal, okay, that sucks. Swift Rizaji Raptor, I think this is a pretty good item. Uh, I do want this one. Primal with Seal. Overlord's Crimson Band. That ring is actually decent. Uh, Blood Drench Grips. Uh, pretty much uh, the Devil Sore gloves. Blood Soaked Paul. Wait. I used to have those. Wait, no, I didn't. No, never mind. I, I wanted them, but I never got them. I, I know what those look like. I remember like thinking, like, oh, these are really, really good, and I just never ended up getting them. Dude, if I got the fucking Raptor. Dude, I cannot, like, if I... And this is the loot that he drops. I think I want the tiger more. Now we can head to our I second think, Oh, wait, wait, let me look at the other... Let me look, now, shit. Okay, uh, Mandokir Sting, 11 Agi, 8 Stam. That's actually pretty good. Animus Leggings, yeah, if I got that, I'd be really fucking happy. Broodlord's Defender. A 1.9 speed weapon. This, uh, this main hand is actually pretty good. Uh, like, this, this, this weapon here is, is good. The Halibard... How Bard? Not a big fan. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it. Even though now it has a pretty good prop. Now we can head to our second optional boss, which is the Edge of Madness. On our way there, we can okay. find these imp guys. Be careful, yep. because when they are killed, they will spawn two elite Voidwalkers. Void boys. So, Not Edge good. of Madness can be done if you have the Gurubashi Mojo Madness to summon the boss. I never figured this, this out. This potion can be crafted never by alchemists, and the items needed to craft it I, is one I, blood I, of no heroes, I, one massive mojo, one black lotus, and six powerful mojo. So basically, this is a 500 gold boss on Feralina. There's just been five, a black lotus? Like, really? <laughs> yeah, fucking right. These potions can also just... be bought and sold on the auction house. Yeah. The reason why you do this Edge of Madness event slash boss okay. is because the items that drop from the bosses are required to get the Zandalari trinkets that I was talking about earlier. In I the think video. the warrior one sucks. Speaking of bosses, there are four possible bosses that can be summoned. Wushale so it's a random boss. I need to move out of and oh stay God. spread to stop his chain lightning We're summoning spell it from today? multiple cool. players. It's pretty much just the snake boss. For All right. some reason, um, in my model viewer, Hazara looks exactly the same as Wushale. Um, I really have no idea why. Yeah, it could be in the Hazara game, too. Hazara has an AoE mana burn attack that can be countered by mana burning him instead. Ooh. Which is really effective because of his small mana pool. That's really so cool. Hunters, warlocks, That's and awesome. priests be focused on reducing his mana as fast as possible. He I like that. I feel like, I kind of liked how, I don't know, in like Vanilla WoW there are like more weird mechanics like that. Where like you had to mana burn something or something like that. Like now I felt like after, uh, after like Burning Crusade really... Even vanilla is like such a massive amount of them. Like they don't really have bosses that are made like that anymore. Like it's just very, it's it's very mechanically difficult, but it, it's very straightforward at the same time. You don't have like, like weird usage of game mechanics is not actually the intent. And in vanilla WoW, I think that it was in a number of times, and I thought that was cool. Will also summon illusions that target random members of the Blast raid. Blast furnace. Yeah, that's an exception. Them as fast as possible. They have a very small health pool. He also has an AoE sleep, mm -hmm. so have ranged and healers stay far, far away. Don't be Relic sleeping. Relic is just a tank and spank boss. <clears throat> Another editor's note. Uh, oh, yes, this, this is seriously what my model viewer brings up wow. when I look so up. So we just uh, beat the Renataki. shit out of a kid. Um, he doesn't look like this in game. 
Oh, really? Okay. I promise. That's too bad. An attacky is pretty easy. The thing that you need to watch out for is he'll vanish and appear behind a random member of the raid okay. and ambush them. But he can be brought out of his stealth with AoE damage. That's He's easy. another very easy boss. By the way, Where's the uh, loot? this is all the loot that they drop. Okay, I don't need anything from these guys, do I? Uh, Wushu Lei's Poker. That's stupid. Hoodoo Hunting Bow. That sucks. Thought Blighter. Fiery Retribute. Retribute. All right. Um, Grill X Blood. 3.9 speed axe. That's actually pretty big. Um, Grill X Grinder. And okay, so all of these items suck and I don't need them. That's actually very good to hear now that I know that they're really hard to summon. As a reminder, you will be only fighting one of these bosses yeah. each week. This next part was copywritten, so now I have to do a cover of the song so the, the video doesn't get claimed. What a beautiful oh, cat. Bum. Cause I saw tigers, so now I understand. What the fuck I is saw this? Tigers, yeah, I saw a man. What the fuck? High Priest, the call is our next boss. Oh my god. This boss is in two phases. Oh my god. Phase one, you need to fight the call, Lorhan, and Zath, this and Tiger insane. Ads all at the same time. Kill the tigers first. Have three tanks oh pull all of the bosses away from each other. Lorcan needs to be especially mm -hmm. far away so he doesn't heal his friends. All right. Zealot Zath has a gouge and a blind that he can use on the tank, so either have another off tank for the off tank, or have DPS kite him while the tank is yep. stunned. And all of these bosses can also be disarmed. You have to kill them they at the same time. They all need to die at the like, same yep. time. It's really so weird. Get them all to 10% and then bring them together in the middle to AOE them down. In yep. phase two, the call will come back as the Tiger King himself, and at this point, you need to burst him down as fast as possible. Yep. More Tiger ads will spawn that you'll either he does need a lot of damage or too. kill. Like he actually does the a lot of damage. Notable ability is called Force Punch. Position yourself here because it knocks everyone back yep. and causes the main tank to lose aggro. It's really fucking annoying. I have two annoying. tanks here for yeah, this right, fight, three or four K. so when Force Punch is used, the other tank can pick it up. Another boss down, and he drops this. All right, so we've got the tiger. This is the main boss that I need to do. I need this tiger. I want to make sure you guys understand that. I need that fucking tiger. Uh, the other one, the raptor is cool, but I think the tiger, it just stands out more. Like, you see the tiger, like, there's somebody on a raptor, it's like, all right, cool. But there's a fucking yellow fucking tiger. Whew! Everybody sees it. Everybody knows what it is. Uh, this ring is actually really good. This seal of gen, look at that. Uh, 1% crit and 20 AP with stamina. That's really, really good ring. Uh, let's see, the boots there, 30 damage and healing. That's pretty high. I think it is for boots. And uh, a few of these other items are okay too. But uh, mainly the ring and the tiger. Primarily the fucking ring. Or, sorry, the tiger. Loot. The next target can only be summoned by the most expert of anglers. At this abandoned camp, there is a quest item called Nat's Measuring Tape. Okay. Turn this into Nat Pagel in Dustwallow Marsh, and then you can purchase the Mud Skunk Lure from him. With the lure, you can fish up Zulian mud skunks from the muddy, churning water pools. This is complex. Grunt. You can catch these fish with 300 fishing skill, but most of the fish will get away, so it's recommended that you are well above it. Okay. Once you collect five fish, go back to the camp, cast your lure, and Gazronka will be summoned. So you just have to the fish. The fight itself is very, very easy if you clear out all the fish in the deep water next to the camp yeah, all and the tank little him piranhas. underwater so his knockup ability does virtually nothing. Gaz mm. drops the coolest loot in the instance, like an eye patch, a tome for mages so they can polymorph people into turtles instead of sheep. Uh, let's see, what is this? The helmet there, it gives 160 armor, 19 stam, so Forer's eye patch is basically just like a scuffed crown of destruction. Pagel's broken reel increases the chance to hit with spells by 10% for 15 seconds. I guess maybe that's good for tanks, but that's like the only thing that I'd really ever use that for. And the pole arm is pretty much dog shit. And that Pagel's fish terminator. High Priestess Arlock is going wow. to be in the temple just up okay. the hill. And to spawn her, you need to bang the gong deep within the temple. Mm -hmm. 
When you press the gong, she will spawn instantly, so be ready to pick her up. Right. In her troll form, you will need two tanks because she will gouge the one she is targeting. And non-elite panther ads will spawn that you can just ignore you and just CC and just continue yeah. the tunnel the boss. Just she will down. place a mark on a random target and this will oh, cause yeah, all that's the where panther the panthers to attack them. them. Yeah. Just kite away from them and use your CC and kill some if need be to survive. They're a joke to kill. At some point in the fight, she Don't will worry. disappear and this is when you focus down all of the ads. She will reappear and attack a random player, and this burst of damage can easily kill Clothies. So in order to counter this, wow. you can face your back against the pen wall, and she will oh, spawn yeah. on the other side. This tactic worked on the PTR, what so the uh, fuck? it will most likely work after release. This is a long ass That's time another ago. another easy boss down. She Ooh, we get the 18 bag. Nice, I didn't even know about that. So you get an 18 bag. And look at that ring. Chance to block attacks with a shield by 2%. Chance to dodge attack by 1%. So that's kind of cool. 2% uh, DR ring, or uh, avoidance ring. Uh, Blood Soaked Greaves, 25 Stam. That's a lot of Stam. 5 defense. Uh, Will of Arlock, two-handed staff with 46 damage. That's actually really good too. Wait. Oh, that's healing. Never mind. I, I thought it was just, uh, just damage as well. Arlock's Grasp. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sucks. And... Yeah, the rest of these aren't that good either. Drops this loot. Okay. On to the second to last boss, which is Jindo the Hexer, which is another excellent fight. And before you engage him, just clear out the whole room. Yeah, especially see, you guys watch my video so you know how to do this. I will explain soon. So Jindo has a lot of abilities, so get ready. First, he can cast mm -hmm. two different totems next to him. One is a brainwashed totem that mind controls the nearest target. Mm -hmm and the other is a healing ward totem that kill will him. heal him. These are the DPS's top priorities yeah. when they spawn. You just kill you also randomly totem. Not the top priority. The top priority is the person who's mind controlled if you don't like them in your raid. And I do want to make sure that I add this into the, uh, the whole video. I want to explain something. The truth is that most of these bosses can be killed by just attacking them until they're dead. Like, any sort of, like, if you're a raider in, in Classic right now, and you do, like, MC or BWL, you just attack the boss until it's dead, and it will die. That's, it, it's just that easy. For like, only two of them have, like, meaningful mechanics that, that impact Jump anything. Oh, shit. Get out of the pit oh, shit, and back okay. to your friends as soon as possible. You're also going to want a mage or a warlock, keeping yeah. an eye on this pit so when people get teleported, they can AoE all of those skeletons down. Makes Jindo sense. will also do a hex on the main tank. So druids, this is your time to shine, because as a bear, you cannot get hexed. Okay. But if you have warrior tanks instead, you're going to want two of them. The most important part of this boss is that he'll summon these shades of Jindo. These ghosts deal shadow damage and interrupt spellcasting, huh. and the only people that can see these shades are people affected by the delusions of Jindo Curse. That's it's important cool. that you don't decurse these players so they can kill the shades. Wow! If there are no shades left, then they can be decursed. With another boss down, you get this loot. Okay, just a second, let me look at it. Uh, Blood Soak Gauntlets. Uh, wow! Those are actually pretty good. Uh, dodge chance by 1%, defense 5, 17 strength and 14 stam. That's really good. Cloak is okay for a shield block set. I don't really know why you'd want that. And then leggings with 35 agi. 35 agi is a lot of agi. Uh, let's see. Chance to get critical strike by 2%. And then that's just another helmet basically for, like, I guess, casters. Uh, all right. Let's look this over here. Loot. Next set. Uh, Jendo's bag of whammies. I remember this one was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, hit with spells and then also healing done. Hexer's cover, damage and healing. That's a helmet. That's pretty good too. Uh, let's see, Jindo's judgment. Let's see, where's the damage things? Agi intellect. Yeah, okay. The rest of this is just it's just caster bullshit, guys. Doesn't matter. Pride heralds the end of your world. Come, mortals, face the wrath of the Soul Flayer. Okay. The Hakar fight revolves around very his dangerous. ability called Blood Siphon. He will suck the life out of the raid and gain health. It doesn't matter, you can but damage him through it. if you have Icky Poison Blood, it will deal damage to him instead. It the doesn't matter. The way you get Icky Poison Blood is by having, preferably a hunter, pull one of the ad. sons of a car from the platforms below. Yep. Kill the ad just before Blood Siphon, 
and have your whole raid stand in the fart cloud that is produced when a sun dies. Yeah, and this then is Hikar the blood plague. Suck thing. up your icky blood and deal damage to himself. Okay. The other abilities that he has is the infamous corrupted blood, which deals damage there to the is. player and spreads to other players. Yep, you just that have to run away to if you get that. Will of a car will mind control someone and cause insanity. Will also mind control people, but they will move faster and deal more damage. At five percent, Hakar will enrage and just start doing crazy damage. Just persevere. Five percent. Soul flare. He's will be dead. Slayed once more. Once more, every three days. Let me see what the loot drops. Okay. There will be slayed. All right, blood collar, uh, healing. Don't care. Healing. Don't care. All right, Aegis of the Blood God, defense seven, two percent block, block value by thirty. I uh, I think I have a shield that's pretty much equivalent to that. Not really a big deal. Offhand sword with forty attack boys. That's a lot of attack boys. I might actually go with that. This is a, a pretty good looking sword, but uh, it gives me plus six swords. I don't think that sword skill or like weapon skill is effective past 305, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, chance to get critical strike by 1%. Critical strike with spells. Okay, don't care about that. Once more. I think it's the, yeah, it's the legs. Blood soaked leg plates with, uh, it's 308. Okay, yeah, so then maybe I could use that. It depends. Uh, these are actually pretty strong. 36 strength is a huge fucking number, especially whenever you're also adding in the 10 defense, so I might actually want to get that. The necklace there isn't really better than the Onyxia necklace, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Gurabashi Dwarf Destroyer. 30 attack power. That's a lot. Uh, I, I, might, I might go after that. I don't know. Uh, Zenrock, it's actually, no, I wouldn't. Why would I go after that? I have Striker's Mark. Uh, Zenrock Destroyer of Worlds. 72 attack power is a lot, but I don't know. Like, I, I want Ash Condi, and if I'm not getting Ash Condi, I don't care. Uh, cloak of Consumption, that's a very good cloak. That is a very, very good cloak. Wow, that is a good cloak. Okay, what about this one? Ancient Hakari Mansplainer, what is this here? Chances steals life from target enemy. That's a one-handed weapon, and then the dagger, one-handed, critical strike by 1%, 28 AP. So a scuffed core hound tooth, heart of a car, and then also the necklace. Okay. And with that, Zul'Gurub is defeated. Enjoy all the sick gear you got, coins you gathered, and tokens you collected. So here's a question that I have for you guys. Do it all over again in like three, three days. days. Yeah. Do you think that it will take longer for us to finish the raid? Or do you think it would have taken longer for us to watch this video? Like, that's the big question. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it probably, I think the raid will be like 25 minutes or 30 minutes. But if I want to, I could delay it a lot just by, uh, you know, by being an idiot, basically.